So sure, the exposure might look right on my face, but hey, the background's looking a mess. So in today's video, we're gonna show you how to take this shot from looking like this to looking like this. Huh? Much better, right? Proper exposure there, good lighting here. Let's break this whole thing down. Now the first step to actually fixing this shot is to actually expose our camera for that of the window. Now the reason why we have to do that is because the window is the brightest portion of our entire frame. And so we need to get that area exposed properly. Now in doing so, we are gonna actually underexpose me, which it happens to be the subject at this point, but that's gonna be easy to fix and we'll fix that in a little bit. But first, we need to actually fix those windows. Now in order to do this, we're gonna have to actually drop our aperture just a little bit. Now I wanna be able to still keep a good shallow depth of field, so I'm only gonna be dropping my aperture down to T2.8. In order to actually fix the exposure, I'm actually gonna drop my ISO and I'm gonna add a matte box covering over to my lens in order to actually control the exposure properly. Already you can see such a massive difference. By actually setting my camera's exposure to match that of the windows, we've already seen a big difference. However, at this point, I still personally feel like me as the subject is a little underexposed. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually fix that right now. See, whenever you're shooting up against a bright lighting source like windows, you wanna make sure that the lighting source that's actually hitting your subject can almost balance that out. And so in order to do that, I'm actually gonna have to take my key light from being around 30% of its actual max intensity up to 100%. So let's go ahead and do that now. And now what you're looking at is the difference by raising up my key light up to that 100%. So not only does that help actually fill in a lot of the light that we were losing by dropping our exposure on our camera, but it's also actually allowing a lot more light to bounce off of my bounce card here to fill in. So I not only raise my key light, but I also raise my fill light. Now the last light that we're gonna add in that we didn't have before is a backlight or a hair light. And what this is gonna do is that to actually help separate me from the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in that light and what you'll see is how that light comes in here on the side to separate me from those windows. And now you'll see that boom, I have that nice little hair light or that nice little ring light right here that's actually helping to separate me from the background. Now this entire setup is only being done with two lights, a key light and a hair light and then I have a bounce here to help add some fill. Now the nice part about using a matte box, even indoors like this, is now I can even still dial in this shot ever so slightly. Because I use a variable ND filter, I'm actually able to use that variable ND and turn it in order to get my exposure the exact way I want it to look. So I'm gonna make some minor adjustments, but ultimately, I think this is pretty close. And just that quickly, we are able to balance this scene. Now, typically, I don't like to film with windows behind my subject because you will still run into the issue of that light changing, especially if you have a sparsely cloudy day where the sun is actually getting blocked by the clouds every now and again. You may see the exposure of your windows shifting. But the best part is if you are using a variable ND filter on your camera, you can actually turn that guy and just dial in your settings as the light changes with your scene. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you feel like you learned something and now you are better at lighting. If you wanna know more about lighting, I actually created an entire beginner's guide to lighting over on the Creative Fam Academy. So definitely do me a favor, check out the links down below if you wanna take your lighting to the next level. I'll be adding this to that course so that way it can continue to get better. But thanks so much for checking out this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.